Welcome to Kuopio and University of Eastern Finland. My name is Aku Seppanen and I'm an associate professor here at the Department of Applied Physics. And today we are going to make a little tour to our uh, tomography laboratory. And by the way, if you feel that my name, Aku, is too difficult to pronounce yet, uh, you can use some nickname, something like Heisenberg. So let's get into the tomography laboratory. I'm just going to knock the door. Uh, I do have keys too, but I will want to knock. This laboratory uh, is used by researchers from three research teams. Those led by professors Marko Vauponen and Ville Olehmainen uh, and myself. What the hell is this? I don't know what's going on in this lab. I had to call my assistant and ask where he is. Yo, 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 one, four, eight, three to the three to the six to the nine, representing the ABQ. What up, biatch? Leave it to home. This is a pipeline system that we use for testing our instruments for industrial imaging or industrial process tomography. Uh, we can run different type of fluids here in the pipeline. Uh, right now there's water flowing in the pipe. And, and then we can do a bunch of measurements uh, using traditional flow measurements, uh, electrical impedance tomography and magnetic induction tomography. Shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, ye, yeah, shimmy, ye, yeah, hey. Give me the mic and I will take it away. Oh, yeah. Do you dang thing once they come from the thing? The mighty bustle with the crazy rapping, don't proclaim. Oh, it don't proclaim. Yeah. I see big old man on the hip hop crow. So here we have two tomographic devices in series connected to this pipeline. This is electrical impedance tomography, so using electric currents and, and measured potentials uh, to reconstruct the electrical conductivity distribution inside the pipeline. So it gives information on the distribution of materials in, a, in the multi-phase flow cases. This device, on the other hand, is so-called uh, electromagnetic flow tomography. Uh, it's a new, new tomographic modality based on the research by uh, Professor Marko Valponen. And this gives information on the velocity fields inside the pipeline.
Electromagnetic flow tomography uses coils and uh, magnetic fields generated by those coils. So if you have uh, fluid flow in a pipeline, uh, magnetic field, then the right hand rule says that uh, the induced potential will be directed to the direction of our thumb. And we are measuring electric potentials caused by those electric induced electric fields. You must have a pen, and if you have a start, you must have a end. Say five plus five, it equal to ten. And if you have both, you put them in a pen. And if you have a rooster, you must have a... A little bit of history. Uh, this is the first electrical impedance tomography system developed here in Kuopio. Uh, it was made in 1996 by Tuomo Savolainen. And this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the newest electrical impedance tomography device uh, manufactured here in Kuopio. It is built in Professor Ville Kolehmainen's research project where they are developing electrical impedance tomography for brain imaging. This is one of the phantoms that they use for testing their brain imaging tools. It has a realistic head shape. Uh, these are the electrodes and the orange part uh, represents a skull. This is the future of this technology. A wearable headset that can be used for example for diagnosis of stroke. I think it's really cool. I even shaved my head this morning for this demonstration. also develop instruments for material characterization and one material that is close to my heart quite literally at this point uh, is concrete uh, and this is an array for uh, electrical capacitance tomography so we can capacitively image what happens inside concrete and especially we've been monitoring increase of water inside concrete One of the applications in my research is structural health monitoring uh, and the technique is called uh, sensing skin which is based on electrical impedance tomography. And the idea is that uh, we cover the surface of a solid structure using electrically conductive paint back here uh, and use electrodes to, to image the electrical conductivity of the paint layer and this paint layer then gives us information on different type of phenomena on the surface. For example, cracking, temperature distributions, uh, uh, strains, and so on. And this particular setup is for testing so-called non-planar sensing skin, which means that the sensing skin is not on a single plane, but it's, uh, for example, here on the surface of the entire uh, box, or here on the surface of, of the uh, cylinder.